shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? From Romeo and Juliet, Act Three, Scene Two, by William Shakespeare. This is a LibriVox recording. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Victoria Grace. Shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? Ah, poor my lord! What tongue shall smooth thy name, when I, thy three hours' wife, have mangled it? But wherefore, villain, didst thou kill my cousin? That villain cousin would have killed my husband. Back, foolish tears, back to your native spring. Your tributary drops belong to woe, which you, mistaking, offer up to joy. My husband lives, that Tybalt would have slain, and Tybalt's dead, that would have slain my husband. All this is comfort. Wherefore weep I then? Some word there was, worser than Tybalt's death, that murdered me, I would forget it fain. But, oh, it presses to my memory, like damned guilty deeds to sinners' minds. Tybalt is dead, and Romeo banished. That banished, that one word banished, hath slain ten thousand Tybalt's. Tybalt's death was woe enough if it had ended there. Or, if sour woe delights in fellowship, and needly will be ranked with other griefs, why followed not when she said Tybalt's dead, thy father or thy mother, nay, or both, which modern lamentations might have moved? But with a rear ward following Tybalt's death, Romeo was banished to speak that word. His father, mother, Tybalt, Romeo, Juliet, all slain, all dead. Romeo is banished. There is no end, no limit, measure, bound in that word's death. No words can that woe sound. Where is my father and my mother, nurse? End of Shall I Speak Ill of Him That Is My Husband From Romeo and Juliet Act 3, Scene 2 By William Shakespeare This recording is in the public domain.